Russian-Ukraine war. Major threat to Russian forces, ATAC MS missiles. In a highly unique development, Ukraine has begun using U.S.-supplied ATAC MS and HIMARS missiles in a highly creative way to hit Russian targets deep inside their territory. This has taken the war in a new direction. The ATAC MS and HIMARS missiles are the most powerful weapons that Ukraine has ever possessed, and their range and accuracy make them a major threat to Russian forces. Join us as we unveil the secrets of these cutting-edge weapons and witness their colossal impact on the battlefield. Throughout this captivating expedition, we will uncover their potential impact on the outcome of the Ukraine war. On October 10, 2022, Russian forces attacked Ukrainian civilians instead of military targets. This made Ukrainian forces realize that they needed a new system that would defend them and help them fight back. One weapon that could help them do this is the U.S. Attack MS. The Storm Shadow missile, which was provided to Ukraine by the United Kingdom, is a long-range air-launched attack missile. However, it is not as advanced as the U.S. Attack MS. The Attack MS has a longer range and can be fired from the ground. This makes it more effective in defending Ukraine against Russian attacks. The Ukrainian military has been using the American-guided multiple launch rocket system or GMLRS, and the ground-launched Small Diameter Bombs (SDBs) to attack Russian forces. However, these weapons have a limited range of 60 to 90 miles, respectively. The Ukrainian military has been requesting the U.S. to provide them with the Army Tactical Missile System ATAC-MS. The ATAC-MS has a range of 190 miles, which is much longer than the GMLRS and SDBs. It is also a ballistic missile, which means it travels at high speeds and is more difficult to intercept. With the ATAC MS, the Ukrainian military would be able to attack Russian forces from a much longer range. This would give them a significant advantage, as they would be able to strike Russian targets without putting themselves in as much danger. Before October 2022, the United States didn't seem interested in giving Ukraine the Army Tactical Missile System ATAC MS. One reason could be that the attack MS was not widely available in the U.S. arsenal, as General Mark Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, mentioned. However, after the significant destruction caused by the Russian forces in Ukraine in October 2022, the U.S. government finally decided to fulfill Ukraine's long-standing request and delivered the deadly ATAC MS and HIMARS missiles. To understand this incredible missile, let's take a glimpse into its history. Attack MS is an impressive artillery weapon with a unique background. Its development began in 1980 when the U.S. Air Force sought to replace an older missile capable of carrying nuclear, chemical, or biological warheads. They wanted a new missile that could hit targets well beyond the range of existing Army cannons, rockets, and other missiles. Originally, the program was known as JTAC-MS, Joint Tactical Missile System, because it involved both the U.S. Army and the U.S. Air Force. However, the U.S. Air Force later withdrew from the project, leaving it solely under the Army's jurisdiction. Consequently, the name was changed to ATAC-MS. In May 1986, the LTV Aerospace Company received a contract to develop and manufacture the ATAC-MS system. After several years of refinement and testing, the first flight of the XMGM 140A missile was successfully achieved in 1988. Low rate initial production of the ATAC MS commenced later that same year. Finally, in January of 1991, the ATAC MS officially entered active service with the U.S. Army. Over the years, the production responsibility for the ATAC MS changed hands twice, and as of 2015, Lockheed Martin took over as the manufacturer of this incredible missile. The ATAC MS is a solid propellant missile with a range of up to 190 miles. It measures 13 feet in length and 24 inches in diameter, weighing 3,690 pounds. The first model of the ATAC MS, MGM 140A, 
uses INS guidance and later models also use GPS to improve accuracy. These guidance systems ensure that the missile hits its target or comes very close to it, about 30 feet away. Depending on the specific model and circumstances of the mission, the attack MS has a CEP, circular error probable, ranging from 10 meters to 50 meters. CEP is a measure of how close the missile's impact points are likely to be in the target's true location. The attack MS is a valuable addition to the U.S. military's rocket artillery systems. It effectively bridges the gap between ground forces artillery and the aircraft and cruise missiles used by air and naval forces, making it a versatile and powerful asset in various combat scenarios. The attack MS has three types of warheads that work best against soft targets. The first type, called MGM-140A, has 950 M74 APAM submunitions. These submunitions scatter in the air near the target during the missile's final phase. Depending on the distance from the target, they can cover an area of up to 33,000 square meters. Each submunition has a casualty radius of 15 meters. The weight of this warhead is 560 kilograms and it can effectively hit targets up to 128 meters away. The second type is MGM-140B, which has 275 M74 APAM submunitions. It's about one quarter the size of MGM-140A with a weight of 160 kilograms. The reduced weight gives it an improved range of 165 kilometers. Lastly, there's MGM-168A with a 227 kilogram WDU-18B unitary high explosive warhead. This warhead is designed to cause significant damage to specific targets while minimizing harm to surrounding areas. It can hit targets as far as 300 kilometers away. The attack MS missile doesn't have its special launcher. It can be fired from two different platforms. The tracked M270 multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, and the wheeled M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS. The M270 MLRS can carry one attack MS missile along with six smaller 227 mm rockets. On the other hand, the HIMARS launcher can only carry either a six cell 227 mm rocket launcher or a single attack MS missile. This variation in launcher types makes it harder for the enemy to identify and target the ATAC MS launchers. When the ATAC MS is fired, it can reach an impressive height of up to 160,000 feet. However, each attack MS missile firing is quite expensive, costing about $1 million. The M142 HIMARS is a lightweight rocket launcher developed for the U.S. Army in the late 1990s. It's mounted on a standard U.S. Army truck frame known as the Family of Medium Tactical Vehicles, FMTV. The HIMARS can hold and launch either six guided multiple launch rocket system, GMLRS rockets, or one attack MS missile. It looks similar to the M270 MLRS, but the main difference is that it's a wheeled vehicle, not a tracked one. The HIMARS can launch various rockets specified in the multiple launch rocket system family of munitions, MFOM. Back in 1982, the 9th Infantry Division realized they needed a lighter rocket launcher to counter enemy attacks. After the Gulf War, they saw that the existing M270 MLRS was too heavy and expensive to quickly deploy. So, they wanted a lighter and easier to transport launcher, and that's how the HIMARS was developed. Lockheed Martin missiles and fire control created the HIMARS to meet this need. In 1996, the U.S. Army Missile Command gave Lockheed Martin a contract of $23.2 million to build four prototypes. And even today, Lockheed Martin is still producing HIMARS. By early 2022, Lockheed Martin was making 48 HIMARS launchers each year. But when the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine happened, the demand for HIMARS increased, so they raised the production rate to 60 launchers annually. Now, in response to even more demand caused by the ongoing war, the company plans to produce 96 systems each year. On June 1, 2022, the U.S. announced they would send four HIMARS rocket launchers to Ukraine along with M31 GMLRS rockets. 
Then, on June 23rd, the first batch of HIMARS arrived in Ukraine. According to Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleski Reznikov, Ukraine wasted no time and began using the HIMARS against Russian forces just two days after its arrival during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzhny, reported that their artillery hit enemy military targets on Ukrainian territory. In their first strike on a Russian base in Izium, they claim to have killed over 40 soldiers. The Ukrainian military uses the HIMARS to destroy Russian command posts. They select specific targets and accurately hit them, effectively weakening the Russian forces. On July 18th, Zaluzhny emphasized how crucial the HIMARS had been in helping them maintain their defensive lines and positions. The HIMARS provides precise and targeted strikes on enemy control posts, ammunition and fuel storage depots. On July 8, another batch of four HIMARS rocket launchers was announced for delivery to Ukraine. The delivery was spaced out to allow enough time for training Ukrainian troops on how to use the platform. To prevent the conflict from escalating further, the U.S. restricted Ukraine from firing HIMARS rockets into Russian territory. Because of this restriction, the U.S. did not provide Ukraine with a longer-range ATAC-MS missile, which can reach targets inside Russia. On August 1st, the fourth batch of four HIMARS was delivered, making a total of 16 HIMARS committed to Ukraine. The Ukrainian Defense Minister Reznikov mentioned that the country needed at least 100 of these systems. By that time, eight systems had already destroyed 30 command stations and ammunition storage facilities, which helped decrease the intensity of Russian attacks and slow down their advance. Ukraine now possesses the most advanced artillery technology, giving them a significant advantage on the battlefield. This altered the course of the war and challenged the status quo against Russia. The ATAC-MS and HIMARS missiles have proven to be game-changers, bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities and strengthening its position against Russia. As we come to the end of this incredible journey, what do you think about these missiles? Don't forget to like and subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, Warheads, this is your host, signing off.